everybody, welcome to What's in the Box. Today we are having a look at Wrath of the Nautilus for Wild West Exodus. This is from the guys over at War Cradle. Uh, so this box is actually really, really cool. So on the front, you can see we've got some gorgeous, gorgeous artwork of the, the leader. And this is a detachment set. So I don't think this is something you're going to start with. It's probably going to be something you're going to be adding to another force. So first things first, let's give a quick rundown on our characters. So the little one with the A here, that is Charlotte Anning. And beside her B is Ran Rani Nimway. I, I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, moving further across, we have a, a little cat ninja style character. Uh, called Nico May. Uh, then down the bottom, we've got our other three characters. So in the D slot, we have Erasmus Darwin. Uh, then we have, okay, this is going to be another one I might mess up. Uh, this is uh, Sadar uh, Hardit Singh. And then our last one is Violet Smee. So uh, in the box, you're getting all of these characters uh, to play with and they are coming in resin. So I quite like the resin from Wild West Exodus because it just works really well, or really well. You get a couple of little bits of advertising in your box, and then everything else is coming in some little baggies. So let's get at it. Okay, so we're starting with Darwin's body, which is really interesting. So he's rolling around in some form of Wild West Exodus mobility scooter, and the details are super crisp. Because it's resin, it does just grab those details really, really well. And I quite like how he has turned out. Now, all of the components are spread out across the different resin sprues, so we'll try and figure out what's for who on each sprue. Uh, we also have Sing's legs and main body. He is a very, very big guy. And as you can see, all of the different components are slotted in via these plug sections here. So you're not really going to have any possibility building them wrong. And as you can see, the musculature and stuff that's been sculpted in on this big dude is really, really good. Uh, the next thing we get is, this is his sort of like tentacle whip-like sword, which is gonna glue on to one of his arms. It's, it's really cool. I'm really curious to see how some folks paint this up. Uh, on our next sprue, as you can see, we've got one little thing has popped off, and I believe it's this little blade which goes on the back of Sing. Uh, we've got, an arm here, we've got a couple of mechanical arms here, I'm going to guess those are for Darwin, and we've got a pistol here, I'm going to guess that's going on to Singh's waist. And our next sprue, we have a lovely set of legs, uh, whose legs are those? I am going to guess that those are May's legs, and I'm going to guess that the other one is for the Lady Smee. And again, super nice details. You can see all the little plug sections to show you which direction you're plugging everything together just to keep everything nice and clean. We then have our next sprue with me and bodies. So we have, uh, I believe that's going to be uh, Rani Anning, or sorry, Charlotte Anning and Rani Nimue on this one. And then we're down into another sprue where components have popped off. I don't really mind whenever components pop off these because they're generally all like separately bagged and so there's very very little chance of losing anything. So I believe that's going to be May's upper torso. I believe this is going to be the head for Smee. Uh, we have one of May's arms on here and her little kitty head. So all of this should go together pretty quickly once you get started. Okay, so let's flip this one over. Because on this one, we have Charlotte's head. We have some little toolkits and stuff, and I'm guessing her arms. Uh, I'm going to guess this is well, it's somebody's leg, but I'm not sure whose leg. It's possibly her leg. Uh, we have arm with a sword, a little tassel tabard type thing here, and an outreached or an outstretched arm with a gun. Now, thankfully, I was sent two of each of these, so I can show you everybody built. So starting off. Uh, we'll go with uh, Erasmus Darwin, and you can see he does just glue straight onto the base on that little ball, and then you can see those sort of mechanical arms plug into the back. He's very, very simple to put together, and like I said, the whatever particular resin the guys at Wild West Exodus use, it really takes the super glue super, super well. Funny that, super glue working super well. Uh, we then have 
uh, Charlotte. So everything went together really nicely on her. A little bit of gapping around the shoulder, but honestly, once you have a coat of paint down on this, I really don't think you're going to notice it. And it's a really, really cute miniature, especially with that little, you know, newsy hat on top. Uh, next up, let's go with Violet. So very, very interesting. Classic sort of Napoleonic uniform on here. And just a really nice pose, just walking forward, casually reaching out to shoot someone in the face. Uh, we then have, uh, this is Nicole May. And again, really nice. And one of the interesting things is, so you see the, the ponytail on here. It actually connects into the arm, and then there's two connection points. So there's the arm to the body and the ponytail to the body. So something that could be quite a fiddly connection has actually been designed quite well. Now I believe there's there's also a tail for her, which I don't think I showed you the component for, but again, it's just a nice little plug section that goes directly in and it's really easy. All right, let's grab our big guy, Mr. Singh, reaching out, big sword behind him. And again, everything just went together so nicely. And on the back, you can see he's got his tiny little sword just in case the big one gets lost and a gun because, you know, it's never a bad idea just to shoot someone in the face if things go wrong. Last character I have to show you is our leader. So this is Rani. I'm always terrible remembering the names of these, so I am checking as I go. Ah, so that's where that leg goes. That was her leg that I was noticing. But again, really, really nice, super detailed in around the, the bodice and the shoulder. And just a really fun kit to put together. I really enjoyed working on this. And I'm very curious to see how they play on the tabletop. So that is the Wrath of the Nautilus. That's what you get in the box. I will move on. I will see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.